Hillbilly DVD Reviews Unboxing Series. Today, we got a nice little collection of fucking Blu-rays here. These are some feature shop reissues of the original Spider-Man movies with Sam Raimi. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. However, I hate these fucking movies. But I tell you what, I love this packaging. It's got great artwork and shit. So, you know, fucking I was happy to receive this. Here we go. We got Spider-Man 1 right here. This is the only one that I got that has, you can tell that's from Future Shop, a little reissue bullshit. What I'm guessing had happened was, because, you know, the new Spider-Man movie came out, Andrew Garfield's a whole new franchise. It doesn't take off already. They figured this will be our last chance to milk some money out of these old Sam Raimi classics. You know, we'll get, like, little fucking like 37 more dollars or whatever. So, I really love the artwork on here. Just really, um, with the sunlight there, I'm sure you can see it, how bright and crisp it is. Really fucking great. There's the fucking original PlayStation 3 font. I don't know if you guys remember when PlayStation 3 first came out, they used the quote-unquote Sony Spider-Man font. Well, there it is in all its fucking whatever, 2002, 10 years ago glory. On the back, there is a card that... This shit feels tight. <laughs> Oh, sticky jism, sticky jism, sticky jism. All right, give me a second to get this off. All right, look at this sticky jism strip all the way across. It's fucking yelled and glued and shit. But on the back, there's the usual typical fucking card to get you whatever. There's the back with the spider symbol. Almost said the bat symbol. The spider symbol right there. So you got nice clean artwork on the back. You know, on the front, we got Spider-Man getting chased by the Pyro Ranger. Pop this open. Very nice, very uh, red colored fucking uh, artwork here. Look at, look at, are you fucking kidding me? Why are they doing this? Jesus. So we have the artwork here. Nice picture disc. I'm assuming this is the same old disc that have been re, you know, released before and put in those little Spider-Man 3 packs and shit. Like I said, not a fan of the Sam Raimi trilogy, whatever, but this is my favorite part of the movie. When they kiss upside down. Why? Because I thought it was so romantic. Nah, because it was raining and Kirsten Dunst, I thought it was a worthless Mary Jane. But in that scene, man, her nipples are so fucking hard. I mean, Jesus, talk about some nice hard nipple shots. So that's Spider-Man 1. Got Spider-Man 2 right here. Like Again, just like the first great co fucking color scheme. See, we get a nice tight shot of him fighting Dr. Octopus at the top of the train. We got the Sony PS3 font on there. Again... Let me battle the sticky jism. This sticky jism they got tricky. The last one had a cross here. They went this way to make it even harder to rip off. Whatever, fuckers. So on the back, we got the same spider image. I guess, you know, they were doing this as a cheap, low-budget release or whatever. You got the artwork on the back. Let's see what we got inside. We got the Spider-Man 2 disc. Got the anti-theft bullshit, which I cannot. If you're going to put this shit on stuff, put it on the fucking shrink wrap. Don't fucking fuck up the inside of my steel book, you dumb fucks. So we got the Spider-Man 2 picture disc. Kind of, well, I won't say generic, but the theme was the spider webs and the two, uh, fucking whatever, you get it. Inside got some nice artwork of them fighting on top of the train again. Spider-Man 2. Okay, Spider-Man 3 here. This is where the franchise really got crazy. A lot of people kind of checked out, whatever. Got him fighting the Sandman on the front right here. Nice fucking picture right there. Again, PlayStation 3 font. I removed the sticky jism ahead of time this time, speed it up. And we got the same old fucking artwork, whatever, which is cool with me. This time we get, because this introduced the black suit Spider-Man instead of that red suited fucking theme picture disc, we get, oh fuck, motherfuckers. So here, like I said, we got the black suited theme picture disc with the three on it. This one, we have the key artwork that was on the poster, I believe. The Spider-Man sitting, trying to get this with the lights, not glaring too bad. Spider-Man sitting on the edge of the church or whatever, right before he fights Venom. Or he gets depressed, or whatever the fuck he did in Spider-Man 3. So that's it, Spider-Man 3, 2, 1, Feature Shop, little budget, whatever, Steelbook release, but I liked it a lot, man. Happy to have these in the collection, even though I probably won't watch the movies. Maybe I'll watch them one more time, you know, maybe like before Spider Amazing Spider-Man 2 comes out, I'll run through these, I'll watch Amazing Spider-Man, have like a little fucking Spider-Man marathon, watch the movies get worse, and then start to get a little bit better. Whatever. So that's it, Spider-Man fucking box set, very cool, I liked it a lot, I was glad that they came out with these. For once, I know people bitch about the blue little fucking things, I like it, it's got a nice Spider-Man theme to it actually. This is Sam Raimi's Spider-Man Trilogy.